We're joining me tonight on NDTV. I'm joined by Naveen Jindal of the Jindal Steel and Power Group. Now, what's really happening right now, Mr. Naveen Jindal was also part of the Prime Minister's meeting today with oxygen producers, including with Reliance and Tata Steel. Mr. Jindal, please explain to everyone who's watching, why is it that we see medical oxygen in such short supply when India is actually a major producer of oxygen? And how are you actually now, how is Jindal Steel and how are you pitching in now to help with this oxygen shortage? Okay, so this uh, pandemic, I, I, you know, it's of you know huge uh, proportions, and it's on a very, very. Uh, it has um, the outbreak is of a very massive scale. Mm -hmm. So I think it has overwhelmed the entire system. So you know, never ever before, you know, we had ever heard of this shortage of uh, oxygen, but obviously now so many people needing oxygen has led to this, and I think oxygen also the patients are needing oxygen in a very high quantity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to, to avoid ventilators, etc. So, I do not know the exact reasons, but obviously the demand is, you know, far more than what we are able to supply. So, we we are steel makers. Okay. So, while in the process of making steel, a lot of oxygen is used. So, we have very large oxygen plants. So, in this time of need, we are diverting our oxygen to the needy. So, you know, I mean, that is the requirement of the country. And so, you know, everyone, the whole industry, you know, today there was a meeting uh, that Honorable Prime Minister called and all the major steel producers were there and many other industries were there. Right. So everybody is of the same, you know, they, everybody is going, you know, out of their way mm -hmm. to increase their production, to reduce their own consumption so that it can be made available mm -hmm. for people who are needing it all over the country. No, and uh, Mr. Jindal, you currently are in your Orissa steel plant, apparently overseeing these tankers rolling out. We've seen the chief ministers of Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, uh, Delhi all reach out to you and hospitals in Delhi as well. What is the process actually like? As you said, you make steel and now you're overseeing medical oxygen, life-saving oxygen. Uh, yes, so I'm in uh, Odisha, Angul right now. And uh, so we are just seeing that see most of the oxygen that we make is in gas form. Mm -hmm. And you know the gaseous oxygen is not the best that to travel. I mean very little oxygen will come. You know, it takes up a lot of volume, right? You can, cannot pressurize so much. Whereas liquid oxygen, you know, we are able to send a lot more liquid oxygen. But the production of liquid oxygen in our plants is very little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whatever we used to buy from outside, you know, firstly, so there we had some tankers. We had diverted all those tankers. You know, like you said, some tankers are going to Telangana, some are going to Madhya Pradesh, some are going to Delhi. The ones we send Delhi, they're going to reach uh, tomorrow. They left this morning only. So, you know, all these things take time, but I'm sure in the next two, three days, because this effort is being made, you know, I got calls from Chief Minister of Delhi, Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Chief Minister of Rajasthan, and today with the Prime Minister. So everybody is working very, very sincerely on this. You know, everybody is, uh, you know, monitoring each and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think there will be impact of all these actions will come. But obviously there is a delay because of huge distances, uh, you know, that oxygen has to travel, you know, more than a thousand kilometers. So by evening tomorrow, two of our tankers, uh, sorry, three of our tankers will reach uh, tomorrow. Right. Okay. Uh, which will, uh, you know, to some hospitals in Delhi, uh, Medanta, and uh, then also we are to Gangaram. So we are sending and we are sending more and more. So hopefully you're saying that two or three days we may see an improvement in the situation. What would you say to the people of India who are actually watching now, who are asking about this national mission, in fact, we're seeing of Oxygen Express is going. Uh, what do you think must be done to make this absolutely top priority? Should, the, should oxygen tankers be treated the same as ambulances? Should there be separate corridors uh, so they can just go through all, uh, uh, you know, for instance, we don't have to worry about where is state police stopping them? What do you think must be done so that we are in emergency mode? I think it's already happened. Uh, that's what uh, the Honorable Prime Minister said today. We had a meeting with him at uh, uh, 1 p.m. Uh, today. And he said, because somebody made the suggestion, they said we've already given uh, the uh, oxygen tankers the status of uh, ambulances and nobody is going to stop them because there were instances of people stopping them. They right. are not going to let you cross. You have to go here. So because, you know, priority is everywhere. You know, everywhere mm -hmm. there is a crisis situation. But then if there is a chaos, 
things will only deteriorate so we all know and the government is also doing planning as to which city should be getting oxygen from where which is the closest see just because i know a lot of people in delhi and obviously i live in delhi so you know my contact so as soon as i get you know some of my friends call me that you know please send us oxygen there so obviously you know i want to i want to help them out similarly steel ministry is also coordinating the efforts of all the steel producers then government of india steel ministry as part of government of india they are also coordinating so i think you'll see that in 2 3 days time i'm sure a lot of oxygen there is no shortage of oxygen so firstly i just want to tell everyone there is a lot of oxygen but obviously this oxygen was not planned to be sent as medical oxygen this was to be used in steel plants so now we are diverting all this uh, oxygen for this so the infrastructure the tankers availability and then the distances involved so is huge mm-hmm. so i think it's a matter of time but you know for me to say to have to people to have patience also i know because people are in uh, you know they really there's emergency they're in urgent need of oxygen absolutely so all this is not going to help so we are just trying to push as much as we can absolutely. ensure that the trucks the tankers that they go the turnaround time is faster mm-hmm. there are two three drivers so they continuously drive you know it's it's not possible that Excellent. they go sleep for 8 yeah. hours and then again restart so mm-hmm. they have to drive continuously so okay. that they do and then come back come back refill again go back so all these things so our top management is uh, is involved in coordinating these efforts mm-hmm. and everyone is doing it uh, very sincerely you know oh. this is like uh, because people who we know people who are close to us they are also getting impacted so everybody is getting impacted in the no. society so it's our responsibility it is our duty to rise to the occasion and i think the whole industry whoever is doing people are not minding stopping their production reducing their production but right now we need to save lives and we're trying to do the best that we can no absolutely and i think it's a national service whether it's you and your research steel plant whether it's the drivers of those tankers whether it's the railways and the oxygen express it's really national service now so just that point to uh, put and in fact wonderfully we wish that this had of course happened earlier the delhi high court also made some strong observations on how putting economic concerns aside versus uh, lives how are you managing has production now shut down in all your steel plants because of this how are steel plants not just you but tata steel and other plants managing i have not seen the delhi high court uh, observations or whatever so uh, obviously the production comes down mm-hmm. because like i said we only can make certain part of oxygen as liquid oxygen so the gaseous oxygen that is still there that is still so we are able to operate and then whatever liquid oxygen even we were buying from outside so we were buying from other people also because we ourselves were short of oxygen so all that oxygen now instead of using to enhance our production we have started to divert whatever we were buying that we have diverted in whatever liquid oxygen we can make so we are trying to maximize that because uh, then you have to make less of gas and more of liquid right so earlier since there was no need so we used to all use it as a gas but now we are making maximum liquid so that we can fill up the tankers right so right now like we have 5 600 tons of oxygen in our plant so we are happy to you know give it all that's why uh, like say till today we are at the rate of yesterday it was mm-hmm. 100 tons a day today it's 150 tomorrow we'll cross uh, 300 tons per day so next one week we should be able to give oxygen at 3 to 400 tons per day Fantastic. so that would be say around uh, around 15 to 20 uh, tankers uh, every day and till our stock lasts then i'm sure but by that time i'm sure these things will start to come under control i'm i'm hoping and i'm hoping that that would happen mr navin jindal thanks so much